so that they can go some of those heavier sets to get that run going. Not wasting any time. Tamu back to the line on second and six. First completion. It's Brandon Smith who hops for the first down. First down at the 35. That's Roland in motion. And Tamu pulls it out of the belly of his back and finds Ty Scott on a slant down near the 43 of Memphis. Excellent with his accuracy, hitting him in stride. On first down, Tamu back to the air again. Pressure comes and he spun down. Quinton Meeks with his first sack of the year. Get that pressure and Tamu thought he was going to be able to step away from this one, but Meeks hanging on for dear life, completing the sack. And that's Second and 17 now for the defenders. Roll of the motion man, Tamu will keep it himself. And he gets back the sack yardage. They have struggled on the offensive end on third down this year. Worst in the UFL, just 34%. Tamu fires and a strike thrown to Brandon Smith. On the outside, watch him break on this. Great form tackle, that's the way to get it done. You understand where the sticks are, understand what kind of route combination, or throw it to a receiver. Fourth down and two, Tamu. Complete, first down and more. Roland turns on the Jets, he's got a touchdown. They wanted a first down, they found a touchdown, and the defenders strike first. Watch him work his way across the field right here and Chris Rowland broke Jerry Rice's touchdown single season touchdown record on his way to winning the Deacon Jones award as the top going for two Tamu under pressure Tamu stays on his feet until now when he's dropped home, worrying about tickets all those other things Tabu on first down to Caden Smith, the tight end across the 20. And a third down and two. Cameron Harris, the running back, but they give it up on the end to run instead to Kiki Kuti, and he's got a little running room and a first down, tossed out. How they wanted to go with these heavier looks to help in the conventional run game, but here you could see go with a little bit of razzle-dazzle, and it's our man, number 89, Caden Smith, leading the way on the outside. Ready, go. Rolling the motion man, gets the carry, turns on upfield, and a gain of nine for Roland, just shy. And release, puts a lot of pressure on the defense. On second and one, Hagen's a lose yardage, back to 45 yards. This is Hagen's to cut that thing back, but a nice little wrap and allowing really tight with his spin moves, but just gets downhill. Here's Hagens on first down, found a crease, and Hagens with nine more to the 41-yard line. 17. Loss of one, brings up second and 11. Tamu to throw. Now going to tuck it and scramble. Tamu with lots of room inside the 20, veering out of bounds near the 14 with a first down. On this one, you're going to get a linebacker blitz. He's going to pick that up, and Jordan Tamu wisely sees that there's all kinds of space. They bring that linebacker blitz. My running back picks it up. That's going to leave me some room to use my legs. Turn on the Jets. Total yards of offense in this quarter. And on first down, it's Cameron Harris, and Harris twists his way towards the 10. There's the pole. There's Kuti. There's the end zone and a defender's touchdown. Sometimes they look exactly as you draw them up. You're going to get the pull here, but you're going to get that motion from Kuti on the outside. You get your receivers blocking. Look, receivers understand sometimes you just have to get in the guy's way. Just get on your guy. Let's go. Ball carriers. And the two point try. Tamu to the end zone. It is caught by Caden Smith. Two points on the board, and the defenders have a 14-0 lead. Yeah, Darius Victor's family lived in a refugee camp on the Ivory Coast while Titus Wynn ended up in Sierra Leone, and there's a sack on third and three. Williams, nobody open. Down he goes. A little bit too much this time, and we've seen it time and time again from this Greg Williams defense, and that was Darius Victor that kind of whiffed on the block right there. And as a quarterback, 
your running back goes. So fourth down and long, and White to punt it away. From the eight yard line, Chris Rowland dancing away from contact. Rowland to the edge. Rowland cuts back across the 40, and Rowland with an outstanding return into Memphis territory. <laughs> He got an extra flex in on that one. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, did you notice? He's skipping leg day, though. Second and six. <laughs> Hagens picks his way over the left side, and Hagens with a first down. Somebody's got to rise up defensively. First down and ten. Tamu with time in a clean pocket, going deep, and it is intercepted. Picked off of the end zone by DJ Daniel, his first pick of the year. Tight man coverage on the outside, taking away those easy throws. Here comes that pressure. Love stands in, hit as he th Third and 13, three receivers top of the screen. Empty backfield, Tom, who wants to run, and he will not get out of the pocket. He stumbled Jordan Ferguson. Right par partner, and it's going to be the, on the right guard, Liam Fornadol. He just kind of trips up just a little bit as he's escaping the pocket. Not able to get up to full speed. And Jordan Ferguson there to bring him down. It's going to be a, a run to the right. There's the run to the right. Titus Sweat doing an outstanding job sifting through that defender's defense. OB in the sense of be your own blocker sometimes. And you can see right there, able to get the cut up inside of Anthony Hines, who got a little bit too far. Third down and two. Victor turns it upfield. Victor stumbling a little bit, but he's got the first down. To the <laughs> offensive line just give Victor a little bit of space. And this is something that we've seen now, two consecutive runs. They've been able to exploit the edges. 26 yards down to the 15-yard line. First down, Love to the air, to the 10. Dancing down near the five is Jonathan Adams. Final play before the two-minute warning. The handoff to Victor, ducked in and scores a Memphis touchdown. Second rushing touchdown of the season for Darius Victor. It's going to be the middle of this offensive line that does a tremendous job opening things up. But I love the way that Victor starts that to the outside, but that nice hard cut back to the middle using that vision. But that's not going to be possible if you don't get a hat on a hat and open up a hole in there. Going for one. Love surveying, buying time, back of the end zone, finds Adams for one. So the Georgetown <laughs> yeah. basketball on your bingo card, congratulations. <laughs> Kick off to the five yard line. And Roland looking for space across the 30 and Roland. So DC can put points on the board and then get it back to start the second half. Tamu to the sideline and a diving grab made by Brandon Smith. Every once in a while, he's got to focus it in as much as possible. On third and two, there's a first down to the 33-yard line. Get a free and play here. up front. Tamu throws to QT. Kiki QT out of bounds. Second trip to the red zone today. They're one for one. Tom will step into the pocket, throws for the end zone. It is caught a touchdown. Alex Ellis with the touchdown grab. And the defenders put six more on the board, up 20 to 7. Yarbo, what I love from Tom, watch him step up. Eyes in the back of his head, understanding exactly when he needed to climb. Still getting a perfect pass as opposed to a trapper where they're trying to kick somebody out. The two-point try. They fake the give to Kuti, and in uncontested is Jordan Tamu. Nice little cutback from Jordan Tamu. And we saw them hand it to Kuti earlier in the game on that same play, and this time... But especially there in St. Louis, that crowd's been wild. Josh Love. Likely the final play of the quarter, and Love throws short to Darius Victor, 
Victor is down at the 43, and halftime has arrived in Memphis, Tennessee. Ready, ready. Take a run here. To Abu to the air, high throw, and it's yanked down it's by the. It's going to be a run to the left, but with the 72, I'm guessing this is going to be a pass. And you're exactly right, Robert. The pass to the sideline, the catch made by Ty Scott. Why shoot? And the tight end, Caden Smith, down inside the 25-yard line. A run inside, and then throwing that ball to the outside. Ta'amu in a clean pocket over the middle. And 19 down. now on the day from Jordan Ta'amu. And let's go, let's go, really just firing that fast. You can see him making all kinds of throws, no matter what the pressure has been in his face. Here's Harris to the outside. Cameron Harris down to the... On third and goal, the fake to Smith. And the Ta'amu touchdown adds to the D.C. lead. Well, again, we're going to see that motion from Smith, fake handoff, and then right up the gut, Jordan Tom, who looks like he's actually reading on that when you get two offensive linemen up to the second level on the line. This has been usually the choice this year for most offenses. Play fake, Tamu into the end zone. It is caught by Smith for two more. Expect a run in this area? Oh. Maybe not. Ah. They'll set up the screen to Ty Scott, and Scott with running room, zigging and zagging all the way down near the 31-yard line. Outside, and you can see Ty Scott turning that short catch into a nice gain. You love to see that, those receivers fearless running back to the inside. You know, you, I think roster composition, you know, you think about what type of mix of guys that you want. Tamu to the air, and that'll be a first down to Chris Rowland. Well, moving forward, you want a different mix, potentially. Bouncing off contact. Hagens with good yardage on first down. <laughs> first down and goal. <laughs> Tamu under pressure. Maybe he had reason to question the call. So, you know, one of the things that they mentioned to us in the call, I mean, this is Reggie Barlow said that, you know, when Jordan heard calls, it didn't sound. Take Roland in motion on third and goal. Tom, who looks that direction, then checks over the middle, and it's intercepted. In the end zone, it's picked off by Delrick Abrams, and Delrick Abrams out to the 10-yard line, opted to get up and run it out of the end zone and out to the 10. First down from the 10-yard line. And Victor tripped up into the backfield. Yes, he could have done that if he would have liked to, but that hand slides right off the side of the helmet, so he would have lost that one also. Guy knocks a hand and knocks the ball out of bounds, but you can only review one part. You can't review everything. 35 this time, so we're going to have that same action going over to the left, but this time he hands it off. And Victor has a big opening, cuts it back inside the 20, and Darius Victor down near the 17. Third down and six at the 14. Pressure coming from D.C. Love hit as he throws. It is caught over the middle, and a touchdown. Vinny Papali in for six for Memphis. Just talked about Josh Love standing in that pocket. This time he's got two guys barreling right down out of him. <laughs> One of them, Derek Roberson. <laughs> you got all that beef coming at you, but you stand in there, deliver the ball. Love Man. hit again as he gets rid of that one. But yeah, certainly not real happy with that call. It led to a nine-play, 90-yard drive for Memphis, the longest scoring drive by yards this season. Here's Chris Rowland picking his way up the sideline. Another outstanding return for Every once in a while, right? Yeah. Every once in a while. Yeah. Big hole on first down. Cameron Harris, an ankle tackle at the 40 from Jeray Elder. Standing run of 12 yards. And it was the right side of that offensive line. Really the tight ends. Briley Moore and Caden Smith working in combination to open things up. For two, three tight end sets. Three tight end set here. 
new quarterback in, Jalen McClendon, who turns and hands it all to Cameron Harris, bouncing to the edge, another first down, and Harris with 12 more out of bounds at the 20. Along the left side, but I love the little bounce. Watch the bounce here from Cameron Harris. You see those flat backs, but that little jump cut to the outside, it buys you that much more space, and those might have a chance here. Second and two. This is Hagens, and he's going to lose yardage back near the 22-yard line. Ready, ready, to go. Third and four. McClendon going to run, and McClendon will have the first down and more. It's first and goal. At the Love that. Jalen McClendon, no panic at all. 42 yards rushing. Ready, ready, to go. Third and goal. McClendon will keep. He's got a blocker in front, and McClendon's got a DC touchdown. You're going to get Fornado, and you're going to get your tight end, Briley Moore, as a wrapper up onto that next level. McClendon able to walk into the end zone because of the scheme, but because he can get the action here, so he can either keep it or hand it off. He'll hand it off. It's Smith, and Smith will go nowhere. And the kickoff without the holder for D.C. with 7.20 to go. From the 15-yard line, Titus Swin, a little sidestep across the 40. Swin still on his feet, dragging defenders into D.C. territory and down at the 48-yard line. And chip away very quickly in this league at a big deficit. Here's Darius Victor across the 45 on first down. Sunday, Sunday, set. On second and six. Loved to the air. Catch is made. And you do have those different rules, but you're going to need more Sunday, than two Sunday, scores. Ball, ball, ball. Love airing it out deep. Down Ooh. the sideline, and it is intercepted off the deflection. We talk about tips and overthrows all the time. Josh Love just a little bit long on this throw, and it looks like Jonathan Adams might have just stopped running a little bit too soon. You see him stop and turn around, try and jump. Protect the football here if you're Jalen McClendon. On third down, pressure up the middle and the ball batted down by T.J. Green. He's on in a place like Charlotte. First down out of 10, late pressure. Love stands in over the middle, finds Adams. Jonathan Adams down the sideline, and Adams inside the five and out of bounds. First and goal. Memphis. Pretty clean pocket. Going to feel a little pressure from the right side on this one. But as we've seen so many times before, he stays poised in the pocket, delivers a nice ball to Jonathan Adams. And because of the accuracy, Adams able to make some extra yardage after that one. In great. On second and goal, Love looking to sneak it in. Extra surge, and he's in for the touchdown. Love throws for the end zone. It is caught by Adams. Two more on the board, and the showboats have life. Just a little bit of a quick hitch there. Just understanding. Where the defense is, a little quick out, actually, from Adams. Be quarterback friendly, right? Get away from the defenders that they need to do. And here you can see the definition of shell defense. Have to get to the 40 to keep things going. Love looking for more, airs it out, and it is intercepted. The entire time on this one, you can see him back here. He's just watching, 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 and he knows exactly where he needs to get. You make that throw to the outside. Nicholson's watching you the entire way, able to break on that one and get the pick. Here we go. Ready, ready. Here go. On third down. Mm. Back to the air and open at the 39-yard line is Kiki QT out of bounds at the 34. Gonna take one to the ribs. Right as he is releasing that football, Quentin Meeks comes in, makes the hit, but not before... And he's got to be pleased with what he saw today from his D.C. defenders. They get the win, 36-21 on the road over the Memphis Showboats, who have now lost eight straight games after a season-opening win. 36-21, the final in Memphis, D.C. with the victory.